Back now at 5.30, Assemblyman Vince Fong sitting down with Eyewitness News for his first TV interview since winning a court case, keeping him on the ballot to succeed Kevin McCarthy. Fong is Bakersfield born and raised, but it's not the only reason why he's running. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein sat down with Fong this morning. Californians right now are hurting. From student of Bill Thomas and Kevin McCarthy to California Assembly to the United States House of Representatives, that is the trajectory Vince Fong hopes to take for his political career. But Fong says following in his old boss's footsteps is not the motivating factor for his candidacy. It is the plight of people in the Central Valley he says are worse off since President Joe Biden took office in 2021. I mean, they, they're frustrated, they're angry, they see what's happening on the border, they see the rise of their energy costs, their grocery costs, their housing costs. Um, they're frustrated with homelessness, they're frustrated with, uh, with feeling unsafe in their communities. Uh, they see what's happening. We have hospitals that are on the brink of closure. We have catastrophic wildfires that's happening. Uh, all of these things have to be addressed in a significant way. And we need to send serious people, serious legislators that understand these issues to Washington, D.C. to solve those problems. What intrigues you most about this seat? Is it, is it what you plan to do once you get there? Is the legacy of the seat? And is it these issues that are facing the Central Valley right now that maybe you can solve in Washington and be you know, perhaps in a majority there in the House where, you know, of course, in California, you're a little bit in the minority as far as the seating goes? Well, public service is a noble profession, and, uh, and, we, and the reason why I'm running is because we need to ensure that the Central Valley has an effective conservative voice in Washington, D.C. Nowadays, it doesn't seem like there's, it's every day that the person who's in D.C. is originally from the area. Of course, you're from Bakersfield. What does that mean if you are able to get to uh, the House? Well, it's, it's certainly humbling to, to have the opportunity to re represent your hometown in Washington, D.C. and, and in Congress. Um, never would I have imagined uh, growing up in Bakersfield, going to all local schools. I mean, I, if you had met me when I was young, I mean, I had a terrible stutter. Uh, you would never see me speaking in front of a large group of people. Um, and, but I had people in my life that saw things in me, that, uh, gifts that God has blessed me with, and, and has encouraged me to go down a path of public service. Um, you know, so this is an exciting time um, uh, to, to serve. It's a chaotic time to serve. Um, the issues are very, very serious. And they grow larger and larger every day. And, and we need to, you know, step back and govern with humility. Whether Fong is allowed to govern at all has been a hotly contested debate in the courts. Fong recently won a case keeping him on the ballot in both his re-election to the Assembly and run for Congress. I know you have people that are looking at you running at two different seats at the same time as just how it has to be on the ballot. Are you planning to resign if you are elected to the House? Would you resign from the Assembly? Yes, I mean, my goal is, is to serve in Congress. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we, you know, we had to litigate this matter. Uh, you know, when, when we had the decision to run um, under the open primary, under the elections code, uh, there's a five-day extension when the incumbent doesn't run. And it was to ensure that every single voter had a choice between anybody who wanted to run. I'll let everyone decide what my legacy will be. But at the end of the day, we have to solve problems. Reporting in Bakersfield, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. And for that full interview with Assemblyman Fong, you can head to our website, bakersfieldnow.com.